Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. Shape layers so totally rock, it's not even funny. Do you hear me laughing? No, I don't think so. So wipe that grin off your face. All right, I don't even know where I was going with that one, so let's just get into it. Now, as we've discussed in the past, you can create shapes by either using one of the shape tools up here or maybe the pen tool. And while the pen tool lets you create complex shapes, it's not exactly a precise tool. But what if you wanted to create complex shapes that were very precise? Well, you know what? You can, and it's easy. First thing I want to mention, in case you never caught this, is that you can add more than one shape to a shape layer. So in this case, I have a shape layer with a star already on it, and I can simply add another shape by first selecting my shape layer and then making sure that either the pen tool or one of the shape tools is selected and then making sure that the tool creates shape option is active and then just click or drag click as you would to create a shape layer. So with that information out of the way, let's take a look at combining shapes to create a complex shape. In this composition, I have four shapes on a shape layer, a yellow star, a red mid circle, a blue outer circle, and a purple inner circle. By the way, to keep things organized, I renamed these and you can do that by simply selecting the shape name and hitting enter. Then just type the name you want. Anyway, I want to combine these shapes to create a gear and the way to do that is to add a merge paths effect. The same way that we've added the pucker and bloat or twist effects in the past. So in the timeline, with the word content selected, choose add merge paths. Now immediately something happens, but it's not quite what we want. Right now, the effect is merging all paths. We want it to merge the paths of our first two shapes, the star and the mid circle. So in the timeline, grab hold of the merge paths effect and drag it so that it sits right below the mid circle in the stack order. If you look closely, you can see that the two shapes have been merged. The inner corners of the star have been cut out to be replaced with the curve of the middle circle. Let's do this again. Select the word contents and again choose add merge paths. Then drag the merge paths effect below the outer circle. Of course this doesn't look right. It's merging all of the above paths, which we don't want. We want to use the outer circle to cut off the tips of the star. So twirl down the merge paths effect to reveal the mode property and in the pull down set it to intersect which uses only the intersecting areas to create the shape. As you can see this gets us where we want to be. Now if you select the shape layer and then go up to the top and choose to give it a fill color as you can see we have the shape of a gear but the problem is that the inner circle is not creating a hole for the gear. But we're already pros at this. With the word content selected, choose Add Merge Paths, and then drag the merge paths to below the inner circle if it's not already there. Then twirl it down and set the mode to Subtract. And there you go. Now our last shape, our inner circle, is creating the hole in the gear. Shape layers are our friend, and a pretty cool friend at that. And if you want to see a really cool use of shape layers in action, check out Dan Opsal's Nintendo style animation, Billy Bombo, which you can find at YouTube. Virtually every visual element in that animation was made directly in After Effects using shape layers. I highly recommend watching it for inspiration and a good laugh. By the way, if you want to learn even more about harnessing the power of shape layers, I've devoted a lot of time to them in my new Creative Cow Master Series DVD, after Effects The Next Level Volume 2 CS3 Tips and Techniques. There's a commercial for it coming up right after this podcast and be forewarned it's not suitable for those without a sense of humor and a desire to help make the world or at least my world a better place. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. Hi, I'm Aaron Rabinowitz, co-host of the Creative Cow After Effects podcast. Every day, millions of people wake up to follow Cullis Heinous also known as bad hair. Like many Americans, I myself suffer from this horrible affliction. No one knows what causes it, but what we do know is that haircuts help. Last year, many of you purchased one or more of my Creative Cow Master Series DVDs, such as the runaway hit, Internet Kill the Video Star, a guide to creating video for the web. And thanks to your purchases, 
I was able to afford several haircuts. But while we can't expect you to buy the same DVDs over and over again, I still need a trim every now and then. So to help, Creative Cow is releasing my latest DVD, After Effects The Next Level Volume 2, CS3 Tips and Techniques. This DVD has all of my tutorials and project files from last year's After Effects podcast, as well as an hour and 20 minutes of new material, bringing it to over six and a half hours of quality video training. And if you buy this DVD, I pledge to devote some of the money to finding a cure for bad hair, or at the very least, to get a haircut more frequently. Help me to help myself. Visit training.creativecow.net. Only you can prevent bad hair days. Only you.